working hard to get me all the way back. I have to be back because we still have to make America great again. President Trump gave that update on his condition about two hours ago, but the White House says there will be no more updates from his doctors. So for reaction to their earlier briefing, we reached out to a leading expert here in the Bay Area. Dr. Bob Wachter is chair of the UCSF Department of Medicine. His observations and commentary during the COVID epidemic have drawn a massive following on Twitter. He tells KPIX 5's Wilson Walker that understanding the severity of the president's condition will take time. I mean, the news as it was discussed is uh, a little bit more hopeful than one had feared. I mean, if it is actually an accurate piece of data that he's not short of breath, that his oxygen saturation is 96 percent, those are both normal. And, uh, and that would be good. On the other hand, we now know that he was pretty short of breath yesterday. His oxygen level was low. He needed oxygen. Um, and in a 74-year-old obese guy, that's pretty prognostically dicey. And he's certainly not out of the woods. What is your top question? What's the top of your mind right now that you would like to know, uh, you know, given everything we know here at one o'clock in the afternoon on the West Coast? <laughs> I wish I had just one question about, I, I, I think the, the issue of the super spreader event and trying to figure out who actually was infected at that event and following them. I mean, it's a disaster. Uh, that I'd want to know more about that and, and who, who was in contact with who. In terms of the president's health, you'd want to know the, his oxygen saturation and not just today when it was seems like it was okay, but yesterday. And I'd want to know the results of a CAT scan of his lungs, which I'm, undoubtedly they have done. Uh, those, those two pieces of data would tell you more about what's going on with his lungs and ultimately his prognosis than anything we heard about in the, in the press conference. In your discussions, you use those sort of medical key kind of charts to, to talk about how there are certain probabilities based on what we know, et cetera. And I, I guess another way to describe that would just be there is so much uncertainty. Is there a window we're looking at where we could get some more certainty? 48 hours has been discussed. What, what is the window you're looking at to where we will, really will know something more about the course that, that the president might be on? Certainly, it'll take another week. Um, you know, the, this, this is a, um, it's a disease that has a number of uncertain paths. And even with the experience now with millions of patients, all we can say is certain patients have a higher risk of something going, going sour. Other patients have a lower risk, and we suspect that they will do well. But then time does its thing, and the time really is seven to 10 days. Uh, the odds are still with him, but there's no good way at this point to say which way things are going to go. All right, that was KPIX 5's Wilson Walker speaking with UCSF's Dr. Bob Walker.